Live from St. Anselm College in New Hampshire, here again are David Muir and Bartha Reds. We welcome you back. The New Hampshire primary, of course, is Tuesday, but time now for closing statements. And we begin tonight with Governor Kasich. Well, folks, I've done now over 100 town hall meetings, and I've loved every second of it. It's been the greatest thing in the world. And I want you to know that you've changed me because I've listened to your stories and I've had your hugs and I've seen your tears and I've seen you walk away and say, I now have hope. You know, I've had a conservative message, but a positive message, not just a conservative message, but a, a positive a message about how we can bring people together, how we can restore America's strength, lift everyone. New Hampshire, please give me a chance to carry this message forward to the United States of America, and then I will come back. Thank you, loved it, and God bless you. Thank you. I, I've spent the last 13 years of my life focused on one thing, serving the people who have given me the opportunity to serve them. Not about politics, not about partisanship, but about putting the people of my state and our country first. I'm proud to have stood on the front lines of fighting the war on terrorism after September 11th. I'm proud to have rebuilt my state after Hurricane Sandy. And I am incredibly proud to be on this stage tonight with these men asking for your vote. New Hampshire, I've spent 70 days here with you. You've gotten to know my heart. My heart is to help you solve the problems of your state and the problems of our nation. If you give me your vote on Tuesday, I will do just that. I want to I want to thank the people of New Hampshire uh, and I want to celebrate the birthday of a great president Ronald Reagan would have been 105 today and President Reagan believed in the future of our country believed in its greatness had a hopeful optimistic message drew people towards our cause we need someone who has a proven record to take our case to the American people because our philosophy is by far the best one of limited government of entrepreneurial capitalism of peace through strength I believe I have the skills to take our party to victory in November. I ask for your support on Tuesday to keep America and make America safer, stronger, and freer. Thank you all very much. Dr. Carson. For many months, the political class, pundits, the media have tried to ignore or bury me. They say that politics is too complex and too sleazy. You can't survive. Well, guess what? I'm still here, and I'm not going anyplace either. And I believe there is still a place in our country for faith, integrity, and common sense. Hundreds of thousands of you drafted me to run for president, and I am going to, with the help of God and you, once again, place the American people at the pinnacle with the government there to serve it. Thank you, Dr. Carson. Senator Rubio. Thank you. You know, this week I had the great pleasure of having my kids join me on the campaign trail. I hadn't seen them in a while. And it was great to have them alongside me. But the most important part of it is that it once again reminded me of what's at stake here in New Hampshire in less than 72 hours. We are literally deciding what kind of country we will be like when they're my age, what kind of country they will be able to raise their families in. And that's why I'm asking you for your vote. You vote for me and we will unite this party. We will grow the conservative movement. We will defeat Hillary Clinton and we will leave our children what our parents left us, the single greatest nation in the history of all mankind. Thank you. You know, every candidate running for president says they will stand up to Washington. The natural follow-up question is, when have you ever stood up to Washington? Last week, we saw a powerful illustration of that. I campaigned in the state of Iowa four square against the ethanol mandate, something everyone said was political suicide. My two leading competitors both attacked me for it. The governor of the state said vote for anyone but Cruz, and lobbyists spent millions of dollars in attack ads, but I stood and said we should have no mandates, a level playing field, and the people of Iowa put country and our children 
above the cronyism and corporate welfare. We can turn this country around if we get back to the Constitution, and I will always stand with the American people against the bipartisan corruption of Washington. Thank you. Mr. Trump. That's because he got Ben Carson's votes, by the way, but we won't say. Our country that we love so much doesn't win anymore. We don't win with the military. We don't win on the border. You look at New Hampshire with the tremendous problem we have with heroin. Number one thing I hear from the people of New Hampshire who I love and develop such relationships. We don't win with health care. We don't win with trade. You look at what other countries are doing to us, China, everyone. They're killing us on trade. If I'm elected president, we will win, and we will win, and we will win. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Trump, thank you. Thanks to all the candidates on the stage here tonight. We thank the people of Manchester, New Hampshire, for having us for this debate, and to everyone at home. The New Hampshire primary is Tuesday. George Stephanopoulos and the powerhouse political team standing by. Take it away, George. Thank you, David. Thank you.